good morning, everybody. I would like to present the progress of my PhD thesis about the biotechnological improvements in clinical hematology. My name is Adam Silagi, my supervisor is Miklós Galami, my uh, SMS is Mark Hennetfri, and our statisticians are uh, Daniel Veres and Gergő Avocs. So my vision is to uh, provide new therapeutic solutions for hemato-oncological patients, uh, but uh, to achieve that, uh, I would like to uh, draw a big picture about our current knowledge, about uh, novel therapeutic solutions, car utility on a clinical level. For that, I will have uh, two projects to finish. Um, firstly, we will compare this CAR T cell therapy uh, against the uh, conventional therapeutic uh, types. And uh, uh, secondly, we will compare the uh, CAR T cells with each other. Um, and uh, additionally, we will not just uh, uh, manage uh, the efficacy toxicity differences. We will also uh, look for the cost effectiveness differences too. So back to the first uh, project, it will be, uh, we plan to finish in May, and uh, this will be a systematic review and meta analysis. But for a brief introduction about the, the importance of this topic, uh, I would like to highlight that uh, one third of the patients uh, in, in the oncology people uh, still cannot respond uh, well to the first uh, few lines of therapy. So these are the patients who need uh, novel approaches. For example, chimeric antigen receptor uh, T cell uh, therapies uh, could be uh, beneficial for them. Um, it, uh, this technology already has been used in uh, pediatric and uh, adult uh, patients. So we are uh, planning to, ident uh, to identify the oncological patient groups benefiting the most from the CAR T cell uh, therapy with, the, of course, the uh, released side effects. Our question is that uh, does the application of CAR T cell therapies change the rate of toxicity and affect the efficacy compared to cancer, uh, conventional cancer treatments? And uh, our hypothesis is that they does. So uh, for that, we examine response and uh, uh, toxicity and uh, survival uh, outcomes. We conducted a systematic search and uh, then we uh, selected uh, 360 articles. Um, but uh, most of, but a lot of them are conference abstract and not, an, uh, and not, as, uh, not accessible uh, data. So it's not that big number right now. So regarding the outcomes, firstly, for the response, we will use odds ratios. For survival, we will use hazard ratios. We uh, uh, firstly checked the overall survival of pivotal, pivotal uh, CAR T cell uh, studies compared to the conventional ones. And, uh, but this uh, uh, preliminary uh, result was without subgroups. But later, when we will check the other survival outcomes um, with a more wider range of uh, uh, studies, uh, we will use uh, subgroups, for, of course, with the randomization uh, disease types. And maybe if we have enough data, we can uh, try to do it with product types too. Of course, we will check the uh, response rates uh, too. So this is our first result. Um, the overall survival of pivotal uh, clinical trials of CAR T cell therapies compared to the standard of care treatment. What does it mean? It means that these are the CAR T cell studies which led us to the approval of these uh, novel uh, therapeutic uh, agent. And um, they, they used in these articles these uh, pivotal trial results to compare them to any kind of uh, standard uh, treatment which is already used in, uh, the, um, in, in uh, healthcare. So this is uh, uh, nine articles, but one, only one of them is RCT. And uh, there's no subgrouping yet in this, in this result. But um, what we can see in the, regarding the hazard ratio is that the HR here is uh, 0 0.37. Um, which is uh, also a significant result. Um, what does it mean? If the uh, hazard ratio is lower than, uh, than one, it means that it favors CAR T cell therapy. So in this result, we can say that it significantly favors the, um, 
the CAR T cell therapy. And we can say that uh, the CAR T cell therapy is, uh, regarding the overall survival, is a 65, 63% uh, uh, better um, than the uh, conventional care uh, in, in usage. This is a non-heterogenic uh, result. And uh, I would like to also uh, add that uh, this results uh, mes message to the uh, CALSCAR is that we should widen the uh, usage of CAR T cell therapy in several kind of um, hematological patient groups because uh, these results um, clearly show that if we use any kind of um, uh, any kind of uh, um, hematological um, diseases, any kind of um, uh, trials, if you want trials, the most important trials, uh, this is very clear uh, result that we should um, give the patients CAR T cell therapy as uh, as much as possible. So, but for the further uh, results, I need to complete uh, the data extraction. And uh, by that, I can the, the also give more uh, the four dimensioned uh, data about the response, toxicity, and, uh, and survival. So, uh, let's go to the next uh, topic, um, which is the CAR T cell uh, products um, comparison between each other. I hope it will be finished in August, and this is also going to be a meta analysis. So, uh, this is the five um, already uh, approved studies, mostly from the already mentioned pivotal uh, trials in the uh, other project, which um, could be used in the in the in those uh, disease types, but they could be seen in red. Um, the importance of the cost effectiveness, <coughs> additionally in this part, is that. The CAR T cell therapy is a tremendously expensive therapeutic agent, and um, since then uh, we need to check uh, that which, which kind of um, product is the most co most beneficial for the patient, not just um, effect in efficacy, not just in toxicity, but also uh, by the budget. So um, we ask that does the type of CAR T cell therapy product affect the efficacy, toxicity, and cost effectiveness? And we say it does affect it. So our clinical implication will be the, to check that um, what's the difference in these products regarding the um, effectiveness, safety, and, and, and the budget. So we're going to use additionally um, um, some economical um, outcomes too. We conducted a systematic search in three different uh, databases, and um, we um, found about 17,000 uh, uh, articles, which will need to be selected in, uh, in the next next few months. So, summarizing uh, the thesis, I would like to check the CAR T cell therapy uh, products. Uh, compare them with the, with the com conventional therapies, and then compare them with each other, and uh, um, check the budget impact of them, and uh, we can then now have a full picture that um, what, what can be beneficial for us uh, by the CAR T cell technology. So thank you for your attention, and I would like to uh, close my presentation with a, a, a quote from a Dutch neuroscientist, Dick Swab, who said that we must accept the fact that we, uh, it is possible that we know something without knowing why we know it. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I would like to ask um, what could be the further application of the CAR T immune cells in the healthcare? Well, um, of course, solid tumors uh, are uh, under the microscope right now, but also. Uh, it's uh, freshly has been uh, showing very great results in rheumatology in um, the usage against um, 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 against uh, autoimmune diseases. And it was um, fascinatingly great in, in these results. But mostly uh, immune cells against immune cells is the best case right now. 
Great presentation. Uh, I would like to ask about your first plot. Uh, what was the sample size? How many patients were included? Hmm. Thank you for the question. It's like about um, per article, about uh, one, between 100 and, uh, and 200. But um, so all in all, it's like about, I would say, 1,500. Uh, 1, but uh, the um, number of patients in the standard of care group is much larger, mostly, than the uh, CAR T cell group. So, it, so I, I, I cannot estimate it better than like one, about 1,000 and by the CAR T cell and about 2,000, 3,000 in the standard of care group. Thank you. I also have a question. I want to ask if this CAR T cell therapy is available for pediatric uh, population in Hungary. Thank you for the question. It's very important uh, that it's uh, in um, progress to make it available for uh, the Hungarian patients too. I mean, in your first study, I mean, you actually got 260 papers or something like that, and you said that many of them is not available. And then actually in your other uh, slide that you showed actually that you are going to analyze 113 or so. So what is in between? Because I'm a bit surprised that this is an expensive therapy, as you said. So somebody does the study and then they publish in an abstract or how? So what is in between? Because that's more than half of the studies. And then how, how can you handle this? This is not an easy thing. I mean, that applies to everybody, although not at this size. Thank you for the question. Um, well, firstly, there's a lot of ongoing studies right now because it's getting to be a hot topic uh, in the hematology. And uh, also, uh, there's a lot of um, cost effectiveness studies which um, we are working on to um, use their toxicity data, their, um, their um, survival data. Uh, this is a, mostly a statistical question that uh, what could we can achieve with them, but uh, I've selected these articles very conservatively, we can say, and um, you see what, uh, what we can use from them. But uh, the lot of, there's a lot of conference obstructs which uh, we did this number very high, um, so we will, but we will try to find the original articles too for that, and uh, this is why the high number. How about the elimination of CAR T cells after the tumor has been treated completely? Do you found Sorry, something from the paper? How so we can eliminate the CAR T cells if the tumor has been completely cured? So, uh, please, can you say the question again? Sorry. How we can eliminate the CAR T cells from our body so the tumor has been completely cured? Well, um, <coughs> so how we should, uh, how we get rid of the CAR T cell after the therapy? Yes, yes. It gets rid of by itself, firstly. The cells are getting, um, um, so the cells are, um, are getting tired, we can say, and uh, they, um, they, there's, uh, epo epo there's an apoptosis after that, if they, if they cannot uh, use it anymore. Firstly, secondly, it gets to be integrated, uh, lock, if we are lucky, it gets in integrated into the uh, adoptive immunity. There's a lot of cases when it happened, and uh, it made the uh, patients a um, long time able to not relapse after the treatment. <laughs>